Welcome, Deronda here with Foods 101, popping in on your midweek to show you how to make these s'mores treats. The ingredients you're gonna need is Golden Grahams cereal, Golden Grahams work best, two cups of miniature marshmallows, one and two thirds cups of chocolate chips. I'm using a dark chocolate chip today, but if you wanna use a semi-sweet chocolate chip or a milk chocolate chip, you may, and two tablespoons of coconut oil. This coconut oil is going to give these s'mores a lovely little sheen, plus it's gonna give it a great texture. Also, I have extra golden grams that I'm gonna crush down and add to the top of each of our s'mores. I'll show you how to do that here in a little bit. Let me show you how simple this is to get together. In a large microwave proof bowl, we're gonna add all of our chocolate chips. Add your coconut oil. We're gonna microwave this, stirring every 15 seconds. After the first 15 seconds, that coconut oil is going to start melting. You're gonna to toss your chocolate chips around until they're coated with that coconut oil. Back to that microwave for an additional 15 seconds. This is the second 15 seconds. As you can see, the chocolate chips are beginning to melt. Off to the microwave for an additional 15 seconds. Those chocolate chips are really starting to melt. Make sure you stir them around because you want your chocolate chips melting equally. Off for another 15 seconds. This took a minute and 15 seconds for all my chocolate chips to melt and incorporate with that coconut oil. Depending on your microwave, you may wanna add less time or more time. Just make sure you don't over melt your chocolate chips. As you can see, there could be just a few little pieces of chocolate chips in there, but they're gonna continue melting as they sit here in its coconut and chocolate. We're gonna add all of our golden grams cereal, coat them until they're coated evenly. Mmm, and this smells so yummy. I like using these spoons that you can add a little bit of chocolate on because it has this little scoop here in the center. Keep folding it over until all of your golden grams are covered. And looking like this, next we're gonna add those miniature marshmallows. It's a little humid here today, so I have to help them out of their cup here a little bit. Coat these until you can see some of your white marshmallow. You don't really wanna cover your marshmallows completely. That looks just perfect. I've got a large cookie sheet covered with parchment paper. It's not necessary, but I love the texture it gives on these s'mores. I just like using a regular spoon. Just come in, dip it out, and then you're gonna add it right here onto your parchment paper. You can take a fork and just make sure you put them in this little heaping pile like that. I've got a dozen of my s'mores here on my cookie sheet. Take these golden grams and add them to a little Ziploc bag. We're just gonna mash them down. I laid them over here on a flat surface and I used the back of a spoon and kept hitting them to get this fine texture. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit here on the top. And if you wanna add a marshmallow so you can see the distinguish ingredients that go into these, you be my guest. I just love the presentation this gives on these s'mores. These are off to the refrigerator for the next 15 minutes to set up. Add some unusual taste to s'mores. I've added some dried cranberries in there and I'm adding some chopped walnuts. Just give it a different little flavor. You can add whatever you want. That's what makes this so versatile. But the main thing is don't forget the s'mores part. Here's those s'mores. I just took them out of the refrigerator. As you can see, they've got a dull look on them. But if they sit out at room temperature for a little bit, they'll get this beautiful sheen to them. But I gotta try one. See how it pulls right off from that parchment paper and look how pretty that is underneath the s'mores little treats. Mmm, looky there. Oh yeah. Wow. Fantastic crunch. Let me tell you, anyone is gonna love these fantastic little s'mores as a treat whenever you want to give them. And that golden graham cereal is perfect for this and I love the dark chocolate. It's absolutely amazing. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. I've got my s'mores with those dried cranberries and those walnuts and let's see what these are gonna look like on the inside. Whoa, here we go. Wow. Mmm. Burst of flavor, ooh, that cranberry, that dried cranberry. Mmm, the marshmallows and the walnuts. And this chocolate, hey, 
You can't go wrong with these. You gotta give these a try. The original S'mores way or your creative S'mores way. They're fantastic. Leave me a comment, hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching and I'll catch you lovely people later.